video I'm gonna show you how to bread foods or how to apply breadings on a food. I'm gonna show you the three main basic components of uh, breading. When you learn this, you can bread anything and you can substitute anything with any recipes you want. Let's talk about breading first, right? Uh, what's a breading or what is a breaded food? They're the one that you see that has a crispy or crunchy texture. Most of them are deep fried or shallow fried. Also, breading is used in all over the country in cooking from Asia, right? They usually bread chickens, same thing in North America and stuff like that. So there's only three main components when it comes to breadings. It can be more than that, but these components are the very, very basic. Using this and you can bread chicken, pork, fish, anything, anything you want to bread. Bread. So the first component is a starch. When we say starch, it can be anything as a starch. It can be a flour, any kinds of flour. It can be a cornstarch. Anything that has starch usually depends on you how you're gonna use it. Also note that you can put a seasoning on a flour, right? You can put any so salt and pepper, herbs, spices, whatever you want, as long as it is a dry ingredient. Alright, so the second component is uh, protein. Alright? Protein. Protein. Pro pro protein. <laughs> <laughs> How do you fucking pronounce that? And protein such as eggs, right? Um, usually eggs is the common one when we're doing breadings, right? Milk, it can be cream, it can be anything. Anything protein, right? Some people add yogurt and stuff like that, right? I guess it's all protein, right? Or any liquidy stuff. Also in cooking, you can add such as paste, any paste in here. That's what people do, right? If you want to add more flavors or anything. So the third component is a crumbs or any bread crumbs, breadings, right? Um, it's panko or uh, you can use uh, normal breadings, right? You can use the uh, chips, you can even use cereals. Same thing in here, you can add the uh, spices or any herbs you want it to, right? So when you're frying, when you're doing a frying, it has extra flavors. So now I'm going to show you how to apply the breading technique, okay? It's really simple and it's really easy. I have two chickens here and this one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna bread today. Alright, once we're gonna use a panko, right? And one is we're gonna use some breadcrumbs. First step is flour, right? The next thing is egg, crumbs. Okay, there you go. Same thing as this one, flour. And breadcrumbs. So there you go, I used this to use pan one panko and one is bread crumbs. You can use both but it's up to you which one you prefer. Also tips when you're breading is one, one hand should stay on a liquid side and one hand should just be on a dry side so you don't so you don't accidentally put your hand in there while you have flour or stuff like that. So yeah, just remember that one hand supposed to be in a liquid and, and one hand supposed to be in um, dry ingredients. There you go, um, you can either fry it up it's up to you how you're gonna cook it. You can either bake it, right? You can even shallow fry it and bake it or whatever. It's up to you. But this is like the um, difference of breadings and yeah, this is just like the, how you bread stuff. Um, I hope you understand how to bread things now. Right? Like I said, you can be creative on your own, right? But the goal of it is just to show you. Okay, now you can make your own, um, your own flavorings and it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, I hope you understand and I hope you like the video and I hope you comment and subscribe. That's everything and goodbye.